Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. You join us today here in Blackburn. Now, earlier this week, I must have been sent this video 35 times. It's Alfie Oddjob here at this place, Holly Tree Fish and Chips, ordering himself a John Bull. This one here, look, you might have seen it. It's when... Your famous John Bull and Scraps, please. John Bull and Scraps, I don't even know what it is. Some Scraps on side, please. Thank you. There he is. Even he's had a John Bull. It's just two layers of potato, like a dab, with some minced meat in, in between. And then they throw it in a deep fat fryer. And you won't find them anywhere else in the world. That it looks what's sensational. What's a dab as well? I don't know what that is. I don't know what the John Bull is. I think we can get the gist, but this is apparently, so I've been told that people have elaborated a delicacy here in uh, Blackburn. Shop's busy. It's got the uh, Lancashire, Lancashire red rose out on the outside. I'm excited for this. Let's just go in, order it, and experience this local, regional delicacy. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so. You have no idea how much your subscription to this channel, the thumbs up you give us, really, really helps. So get in the comments, run it up wherever you can. It means the world to us. The more likes, the more subscribers we get, the more we can do, the further this content goes. It allows us to do more. Let's carry on, let's go. I don't even know what a jumble is, mate. Meat, it's like, must be like a pie in between the thingies and just... Right. We'll find out in a minute. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Is I'm good, thanks. I've come for the uh, jumble and scraps. Yep, anything what? else? Yeah, can you tell me, what is it? So, a jumble is spiced minced meat yeah. in between two slices of potato and then battered and deep fried. Is it nice? Very good. Is it, like a, is it a delicacy then? It's a, yeah, it's a, it comes from Blackburn, so the actual bloke that invented it years ago was called John Bull. Oh, well, there so we go. So you, you can go out, ten minutes drive out of Blackburn and nobody actually knows what they are. <laughs> it's just a local thing, yeah. Uh, is this the only shop that sells them with all the fish and chip shops selling? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'll be Yeah. Oh, OK, so you can get it in other places. Is this the best one? We'd like to think oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just one of those, please. Yeah. And a, uh, do you want a drink? Uh, Coke Zero, please. And a Coke Zero and a, a, a Tango um, Dark Berry, please. You take part in you do, yeah? Okay. Salt and vinegar? Yes, please. Lots of. Lots of. And um, would you like a carrier bag? No, thank you. I'll have it open, please. Just ready to eat right now. That's fine. So a jumbo with scraps, there's Coke Zero and a Tango Berry. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Please do not I'm really excited for this. Five pounds exactly, please. How much is the jumbo with the scraps? The jumble and scraps is £2.80. Wow. £5 exactly then, please, Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This looks amazing, right? It's not normal, is it? Look, Paul, right? Hiya. The chips look back in there. Right? When the chips are as good as this, you can put anything on the chips. Like sweet chilli chicken on those chips. That'd be legit. Curry, red right down in a chip alley in Cardiff, they do something similar. Jack chicken. John Ball pour over on chips and scraps. That sounds amazing, bruv. Burger bites. Curry, curry verse. You've got burger bites. Oh, wow, look. Curry look, verse. Look, look, look. And then, what the hell is that? Damn. Mm -hmm. That must be the potato. Yeah. The dab. That is the dab, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. growl and meat pie. You love a growl. It's another world up here, bro. It's another language. There we are, my Thank you very much. You've got Wigan for the bus. Bye-bye. There he is, look. There you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go, brother. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Ooh. You right That's leaked. Ooh. That hot, um... Actually... A bit too hot. What's well, burnt through it, mate? Look, burnt through it. That's how hot it is. Hot oil's just gone right. Do you need to wash your hand? Get out the cold water. Okay, burnt to smithereens. First day to the workplace. <sighs> no mouth to mouth required. Look, come on, here we go. That's, so that is uh, the famous hand. John Paul scraps. <laughs> Alpha, your job. What have you done here, brother? Um, this is a delicacy. Scraps look great, by the way. Let's try these. To start with. <laughs> I think we're missing the trip not having a fish and chips, don't we? 
If you're from uh, Blackburn, let us know. Is this the number one fish and chip shop? Because they were lovely. Price point is amazing. How much is the fish and chips? Did you see? Don't, didn't see, hold on. Five twenty for cod, and uh, like a small chips two thirty. Seven and a half quid, mate. You're getting a fish and chips. Their menu's crazy. It's just a different world, right? How am I doing this then, bro? Well, just I like, pick it up because you just got third degree burn, so just be careful. So this is the famous jumble and scraps. Ooh. There we have it. Spiced potato, spiced meat, sorry, potato, called a dab, deep fried, scraps on top. For two pounds eighty, I don't think you get a lot better than that, bro. It's deep filled. It looks a lot like of it, it looks like <laughs> this looks like deep fried chaos. This is also gonna melt your face off. Is it? Yeah. Is it gonna be nice though, bruv? Here we go. Let's try some just on its own. Is that meat there? A lot of meat. Oh, it smells good, bro. Here we go. It's really good, bro. It's really, really good. The dab, potato for the southerners, is super soft, very thin. Oh, it just comes off that. The batter. Oh, I can smell that now. The oh. batter, the deep fried batter on the outside gives you this mad texture. I mean, you've got this like spiced, delicious, oniony, gravy, spiced meat. On the inside, couple that with the salt and vinegar on top, it's a dream. It's really fucking good. Worth the three hour drive? I think it might. For two pound eighty. So a good, good little meal. We spent hundreds of good on diesel to get here, but it was only two pound eighty. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised, bro. Um, the quality of the meat actually tastes pretty good. Sometimes in these things, it's uh, not the best. So this is a Blackburn. Specialty. Can't get it anywhere else. The John Bull. Um, am I going to advise you make this trip to try this? I think I am. Oh, okay. Right. It's so good. It's deep fried chaos. And the, every mouthful reduces your life expectancy by quite some time. That being said, if you are going to go down, go down in a, a jumble, fireball of kamikaze succulents. This is uh, pretty good. I think I'd like it with a small portion of chips. You can even have two of these with chips. Then you're, you're probably going to die the next day, but <laughs> like I said, it would be, be good. These scraps as well, by the way. We, we are the premium food viewers in the world when it comes to fish and chips. That was about saying, fact, that's a fact. My expert tongue can tell that the fish and chips here is gonna be very nice just by this batter. It's very light, very crispy. These scraps are like quavers, they're not hard, not hard and heavy. They're light and soft. Full of texture, exactly what we want from scraps, right? Um, it's John Ball. So he's the inventor of this, right? Yep. One last bite. I'm gonna give this a score, bro. That's a big bite. For £2.80, that is unmatched. Oh, okay. It's really, honestly, Callum, it's really good. Where does it sit, though? Is it know. elite scram? Um, it's one of those very regional... Sorry, it's one of those very regional, can't speak today, regional delicacies. And I like it, I'm all for it. 
This sort of shit is what the world makes the world unique. It's what makes the world brilliant, right? Um, I can't stop eating. That's a good sign, right? Salt and vinegar's on point. Yeah, you're nearly gone. I must have eaten that whole thing. Then we have pie mash in London. The meat in those pies is very delicious. This has got a similar feel to it. Okay. Similar, like, simple yet very effective gravy sauce flavour profile. Mm. Al for your job, you weren't wrong, mate. Al for your job, you were not wrong. Thank you for showing me this. Done. Time for a score. Where are you going? <clears throat> it looks kind of weird. Deep fried chaos. With the scraps and loads of salt and vinegar, it's actually a wicked, a wicked little meal that is. Highly recommend it. Is that going to reflect on the score? Only this, like uh, the fun factor is big. Uh, regional factor, love that. Price point is outrageous for two pound eighty for that. It's a great snack, lethal snack, deadly. In fact, your arteries may explode <laughs> halfway through or at the end of this. I'm surprised I'm still talking, <laughs> but a good snack. Not right, eating forty-seven Mars bars in one go. <laughs> I don't Holy think it's quite that bad. Is it? it probably is. Holly Tree fish and chips. The John Ball and Scraps. Time for a score. I'm going for like a like an eight out of ten. Okay, I'm solid score. For a solid eight. Yeah, why not? Why not? Blackburn, run this up. Tag people. If you want to try one of these, get in the comments. Sh share this with someone you think would enjoy that. Spread the love of the John Ball. Bosh and like and follow for more. Subscribe if you haven't already. Honestly, people, you have no idea how much that really does help this channel grow. Thanks for watching, everyone. I love you all. Where shall we go next? Let us know. All right, Terra, I've got you a present. I am. That is... That looks amazing. Does it? Yeah. Are you sure? I like the scraps. Right, it's this, really... this is a John Ball and scraps. You've got potato, meat and potato. Can we get your, your take? My take. Just be careful. Don't burn your it face off. It is fresh out the fryer, so... Yeah. Ooh, that's it's hot. steaming, isn't it? So you want to watch a grown man burn his face off here? Yeah. Here we go. No tongue left. Is it hot, Terry? Very. <laughs> Very. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm totally different. Something what you don't expect, but I've got a good taste. Yeah. Meat's mm. nice, isn't it? Very nice. And I love it. It looks better than ours. That looks, that looks like it's more... Uh, <laughs> oh, you enjoy that. It still looks very juicy. I, like the but I want it. I've got because I've got another one. All right. Mm. Good. Good driving fuel, Terry. Very. Over and out. See his big daddy B pubs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?